This next clip I want to show you is about 180 turns. This one behind me is definitely a soft sweeper that's not really tight. It's kind of a floating sweeper. The key with it is definitely get your weight way forward. You want to have your weight way up on the uh, seat all the way forward. You want to hold yourself up there. Make sure your weight's over top of the handlebars and that you have your outside elbow up. What this does is it puts about 90% of the weight on the front wheel and only 10% on the rear wheel. Once we get it to this point, we can stay forward and turn the bike. I'll actually have my front wheel, if you look at the marks afterwards, will be about that far on the inside of the rear tire. I'll on purpose pitch it out and use the clutch and the throttle to step the back end out to help me turn and go down the next straightaway. If I don't, if I try just a typical turn, being that far forward, the, the front end's just going to want to knife and push out on me, causing me not to turn. So I'm using the back end and the throttle to really pivot turn so I can rock it down the next straightaway. I'll show you. Here's the correct form going through the 180. Weight's way forward, outside elbow is up, butt cheek's off to the side of the seat. So I'm weighting the inside of the tires, allows the rear end to stick and the front end to stick, which allows me to turn the bike, which is what we're after. I'm in control all the way through the corner. Here we'll see it in slow motion, outside elbow up, waiting forward way over the top of the crossbar pad, which weights the front end, and then I give throttle, which steps the back end out, helps me to turn.